Hey, hey, Tui Snyder here. Rather than take you on a historic cemetery tour, in this video, I've got some behind the scenes fun. The other day on Facebook, I shared this photo and I asked people, what do you think Larry is making this time? Now, just a little background here. My husband, Larry, is a mad scientist. I am not kidding. He's got a laboratory full of equipment and he's constantly experimenting and making things. In fact, if you want, I can give you guys a tour of his laboratory another time. Just let me know if you'd like to see a video like that and put that in the comments below. Anyway, we had a lot of great guesses as to what Larry's up to this time. Some of you came very, very close, although no one completely zeroed in on what he's doing. So I'm just going to let Larry tell you in his own words what he made and what it's for. Hey, everybody. Well, you know, I've been experimenting this year with what I've been calling uh, my rum flavored hand sanitizer and my gin flavored hand sanitizer. <laughs> well, I also wanted to try absinthe flavored hand sanitizer. And I've got... Uh, a result here. This is absinthe. It's a very strong spirit. Um, I distill it from a 95% uh, uh, alcohol content spirit and I made it into a, now it's an 80, that'd be 160 proof absinthe. It's, it's got uh, wormwood in it, it's got hyssop, it's got anise, it's got five other herbs in it. This is 11 herbs and spices. Yeah, 11 herbs and spices. Eye <laughs> of newt, toad, frog. <laughs> really medicinal. Wolf now, fat, tongue of a dog. I got to tell you, it is a special way to drink it too. It's yeah, very strong spirit, so it's always watered down. But the watering part, it, I've never done before, but I've got it set up here. Here's a... Uh, hey, don't go too fast. I want to show people. Here's okay. a separatory funnel with some ice in it. Okay. I'm just going to put cold water in. We'll get that water nice and cold. And now I'll put a, a shot of uh, absinthe in here, and then we'll we're gonna drip the water over a sugar cube because this stuff is it's a little homemade bitter. sugar cube. Yeah, I think that <laughs> is so cool. He even made his own sugar cubes. All right, so let me get a shot glass. Cool. Yeah, get a shot glass. Here's a little shot glass. On about thirty mLs or thirty-five mL. Those are cute little There's the absence. It's 35 Oh, it is pretty green. I hadn't seen oh, it because yeah. I can't see into the... Hold there's, it up to the light There's even a mint bit. in here. Yeah, can you hold it up? Um, the or just stay where you are and I will try and get a... Well, now it looks like pee, but... <laughs> it, it really does it, look green. It does look like yeah, pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Now it looks green. It does that one angle. I'm sorry. I was having a flashback. Yeah. The, okay. The hyssop <laughs> and the uh, mint uh, make uh -huh, it green. Uh -huh. Hyssop and mint. Now I mentioned this is a very there's heat there's there's some heat in this spirit and it <laughs> the green fairy I yeah, want to see the green fairy all, smells all licorice I'm, I'm all about the green fairy bring her on all right let's see if we can do the the drip like okay. they do okay like the do okay this so make me think now I want to watch Moulin Rouge <laughs> I'm all set up and now I want to drip ice water uh, into this solution and I'll tell you the truth I've got one shot of the uh, absinthe in here and I probably want to dilute twice at least and maybe even three times we'll take a taste after twice and uh, the oh, idea I can smell it now oh yeah okay I'm looking up here your There's hands so... in the way so there's so many herbs in this okay. I guess we want to drip those water in very so slowly ah, drip it over the homemade ice cube it's a sugar cube but oh, that's okay I meant to say that yeah I make homemade ice cubes all the time now it's such a tough recipe. as this hydrates uh, the clear Spirit should mm. milk up. At least that's, that, I, I think some of the natural oils of the, the herbs should come out of solution and make, make the solution milky. Yeah. Let's see. I can really smell the fennel. Drippity doo dah. All right, of course the sugar's gonna sweeten this up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. This was quite a popular drink at the turn of the century in France. It was so popular, people weren't buying so much wine. And uh, the wine 
people, the wine growers and producers were, uh, they, 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 they gave a lot of negative PR to absinthe and it was even outlawed for 50 or more years. <laughs> That's right. They used to call happy hour was known as the green hour in France because everyone at all those little cool cafes would be sitting out front in the evenings and they'd be drinking absinthe instead of wine. And like Larry mentioned, that did piss off the wineries, the French wineries. And so they latched on to this story. There was a farmer who you know, killed his family. He'd been drinking all sorts of stuff and he was already known as being violent, but along the way he had like one drink of absinthe and so they used it as a big old smear campaign. There's a really good um, documentary about it actually. All right, I'd say we, we've got about two, Whoa! oh look at the sugar cube is in now. <laughs> I'd say we got Oops. about two, two uh, volumes of water right now to okay. one of, oh, I'm curious of the to give absinthe. It a whirl. I want to taste it. Yeah, I do too. Get a little stir. I'll let you taste it. Boy, it's real licorice smelling. Mm -hmm. I think they use it as a digestif a lot because, you know, fennel's good for your digestion. Now, hmm? my absinthe is, absinthe is still young. It's, it's two weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so there's a little rawness to it. But to tell you the truth, this is got a pleasant after uh, mouth feel, a little buttery. Mm -hmm. I can taste. There's so many oils from the botanicals in here, and let me tell you, there's a lot of botanicals. I've got 30 grams of botanicals per liter of alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> I wasn't done. So was I'm just... getting, I'm getting a little buttery mouth feel. Buttery. Huh? Buttery. A little buttery. I'll be really curious what I think. You know, I'm very picky. You know, it's definitely a sipping drink. Sipping. I don't think I need to add more water. I think this okay. two, two, I'm two to one. I'm dying to try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye. And All right, I'm, I'm going to let you try Start over. Go ahead. Whoa. Oh, no. I just, the whole sugar cube went down. Yeah, what happened? The red light wasn't going, huh? Yeah, it wasn't going. Darn it. Diggity. Well, this is our th fourth bunch of absinthe and the sugar cube just fell in you missed it um it total fucking success we love the green fairy it is a it is a keeper i'm gonna i love this recipe it's delicious i can see why uh absinthe was such a big hit turn of the century france um you know i've been i started my little uh distilling hobby to make gin and rum but i'm gonna continue to make absinthe. I'm surprised because I thought it would be really strong and kind of harsh, but you know what? Whatever. I, this is so good. It's so smooth. It has that kind of fennel licorice-y flavor, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't, you know, run over my tongue or just burn my throat. It's it's very smooth and I'm delightful. Call it totally drinkable. Mm-hmm. And we just sang a bunch of karaoke in French. <laughs> Vive la France! More than that, we've been uh, we've been telling ourselves each other our deepest thoughts. We have. Yeah. So and the Green Fairy did that. So thank you, Green Fairy. Oh, listen to you! And that is so true. We have really had like a little heart to heart in between. It was really very good. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, and here's our cat. Hi, Kiki. What do you think? Meow. Yeah. Gary comment on the oh me me. <laughs> <laughs> this will make a funny YouTube video. I kick a boo. <laughs> She's like whatever. She 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 smelled it and she did not like how it smelled. It wasn't quite as bad as when she smells like my nail polish remover, but um she still was like whoa that is horrible. She likes to know what we're up to. She always likes to smell it. But then she basically spent the whole time on the couch watching us. She does, you know, listen to our karaoke all the time. She's pretty, um, This know. stuff is like liquid heaven. It's great. Sure uh, is. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh la la. You it know, is going. I was doing a little bit of research on absent spoons. And then I saw a different way to prepare and drink absinthe. And this this method uses uh, orange, and you don't use the dripped ice water, you just pour ice water in it. But uh, let me show you a, a different way to try the absinthe. 
Okay. You're gonna yeah, need a few gonna, things. I'm gonna have to look up where this is from. You need some uh, powdered sugar, or not powdered sugar, granular sugar. sugar. This, this is like sugar in the raw. Uh, you need ice water, so we got some ice water. Of course, you need some absinthe. Uh, we've got our absinthe here. It's uh, it's pretty young absinthe, just two weeks old. Uh, you need a shot of that. So let's get a shot of the absinthe. That's uh, that's about thirty-five milliliters. Very nice. Mm. Pour that in whatever cup you're going to drink it out of. Now. There's going to be some thermal shock involved with this glass. So this glass is a, actually a teacup. I, I think it's... Yeah, I got it as a freebie. It was inside this uh, um, garum or some awesome, kind of tea, awesome right? tea yeah. that I got like at a Greek oh, grocery store. Oh, I like that tea. Oh, good. Yeah, it is good stuff. We need a, a fresh orange. Let's uh, cut, us, that tea. cut us a nice piece of orange here. Okay. Orange. Super right. tea. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know where, who, where this, this is a is juicing green. orange, so I got oh. that especially because I want to, uh, I want the juice out of the orange. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, grab it with a fork. There's no pips. That's great. Let's get some. So good. Let's get some sugar on it. Yeah, yeah. Dab, dab, dab. Mm. That's probably about as much sugar loading as I could get on this orange. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and I've got. Uh, let's get the knife away. Here's the absinthe. Now this absinthe is 80% alcohol, so uh, it should uh, it should light pretty easy. Come on, absinthe. Okay, there we go. Oh, all right. So uh, we'll use the heat of the flame of the absinthe mm -hmm. to uh, caramelize the sugar, hopefully, and uh, start bringing some of the juice out of the orange. And you watch someone do this? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a Czech guy on the, on the, oh. on YouTube did it this way. So maybe they do this in Prague or something. Maybe. I've never pretty, been to Prague. Look pretty good. Oh, mm, the odor's coming been over. We have enjoying this absinthe. Oh, wow! Look at that. And it smells pretty nice too. It does. Also. Ooh, and it's sweating that orange. Drippity, drippity. Yeah, I know. I did, really did not expect to like this. I, I just, I knew I would like the whole ritual of it and how fun that is, but I thought, eh, it's one of those things, it's not going to be very tasty, but you really made some tasty absinthe. It's it's smooth, it's not like this freakishly loud flavor that just knocks you over. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it too. I'm, I told, I called my friend today, I told him, this is like liquid heaven. <laughs> this stuff, that's pretty good. Uh... Well, I, I think I got most of the sugar off of this orange. I could just squeeze out the rest of the juice in there and then, and then yeah. add a couple of measures of ice water because remember, this is a very, very strong spirit. Mm -hmm. and make sure you keep the All right, fork I'm gonna, in there. I'm going to put shock. out the fire just by uh, out that fire. taking away its oxygen. That Good should idea. do it. Okay. So I made it. Et and, oh, you know, there is down in New Orleans, there is a place where they have absinthe on tap in this secret. I saw like this really cool travel show and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go there like uh, Jean Lafitte's secret bar or something. And well, you don't have to travel too far to have probably, it on tap because I made a gallon of it. Well, I know. I'm just <laughs> saying I would like to go there and try theirs. Sometime. All right. So me... uh, we've got the orange in there. Let me put some ice water in. <laughs> We'll just uh, put a couple of measures of ice water in. Now, that tea hopefully, glass should be able to handle yeah, it. the thermal shock isn't yeah, going to kill this tea. Yeah, I'm, I'm all scared. <laughs> yeah, it's doing all I'm not going to say anything. Oh, look at that. Superstitious. Don't want to jinx it. Click, click, click. Look at that. Getting in there. Woo! All right, ski. It looks terrific. Okay, yeah, so okay. now, the. Uh, Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to transfer it to a shot glass to drink it because this, this glass is still warm. I can, you know, I'm a heat lamp. I have whatever they call cat's tongue or something okay, in Japanese. So oh, right. this, this is the drink. It's, it's The drink so itself pretty. is cool. Yeah, wow, that. Isn't that nice? I like, I like the these in the super bottom. cute little shot glasses you got. There. All right, piece de resistance. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Can I have a little? In front of the lens a little bit. I'm looking through it. I know you're there. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. What do you think, Claire? I can definitely taste the orange. You can? Okay. And the, you get that wonderful warmth uh -huh. of the absinthe. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. The buttery mouthfeel of this absinthe is just wonderful. There's so many botanicals in there, so many botanical oils. It's probably oh, a health food, baby. This stuff is liquid heaven. It's another way to prepare the absinthe without liquid the drippy thing. Liquid heaven. Oh, great. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ooh la la, I want to try. <laughs> Ciao, everybody. You're next.